Hi guys, it's Anders with another Logic Pro video. What we're going to do in this video is show you how to make your white noise risers and downers, so uplifters and downers, using just Logic plugins. And let's get into that. Say my name aloud. Hello guys, here we are inside Logic. So, if these videos are helpful for you, please bang a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and if there's any more Logic videos you want to see or questions you have, throw it in the comments down below. So, what we're going to do here is build up a like a pitched riser. Now, you can do this using pretty much any synth. I think today we're going to do it using Alchemy because that's what's already popped up here. So let's create an instance of uh, the Alchemy synth so you can follow along here. Just going to add a new channel, software instrument here, and then instrument here as Alchemy. And let's create that. Cool, so that's brought up Alchemy for us here. Um, if you don't know Alchemy at all, there are some videos on the basics of Alchemy and getting used to it, but I am going to fly through this with you. So if we go File and Clear, that gives us a completely default patch. And what we'll do is we'll draw some MIDI in. Let's go for a standard riser at 128 BPM. And we'll do it so it rises across these four bars. So she's just going to add a bit of MIDI in there. We're going to pop a good old note in here and that's going to give us a horrible sounding saw wave at c3 beautiful okay if we hit advanced here on alchemy we can then apply some of the really basic things we're going to do to make this riser so we need a filter we need to be able to tune it Two of those things are really easily engaged for us. So source A is where our source is coming from. And as we can see, it's currently a saw wave. For the sake of this, we're going to leave it as a saw wave. Now on tune here, you can dip it down four octaves, which is a huge amount there. Um, so it's now going to sound like this. So we can use that as a, our starting point. And we're going to bring it all the way up to here. And we might go all the way up to here. That's a little bit harsh though, so maybe around here. We want a filter as well. Now, this has already got a state variable low pass on. We can probably stick with that. And we can experiment in a bit with some, some of the other options, but we'll leave it on the low pass to state variable filter. And we're gonna bring that cut off right down as well. I think you get the idea of what's already going to happen here. We're going to automate these two parameters. To say finding them in Alchemy, I'm just going to go into Touch here on the automation down the left, and I'm just going to move these two parameters. Beautiful. Now, if we put this back onto Read, and we press A to open up the automation, let's zoom right in so we can really see what's going on here. If we click this little arrow here, it drops the menus down and it should show us those two values that we've just played around with. I think we'll just draw this in really rudimentary and get an idea for how we're going to go. What we generally want to do is start quite low and then pitch up rapidly towards the end, uh, especially on something quite short like this. Now the low end might be a bit much if you can do this within a mix, but if you're just bringing it in as an intro, that will work fine for you. We'll ramp that up as well. That should give us a relatively simple pitched riser. Let's flatten that off a bit there. Maybe we'll bring that up a little bit more here. We can hear a bit more of it and then ramp it up like so. Mm. 
Now, something else that suddenly drops off really uh, suddenly, and that's not necessarily a great thing in the riser unless you want to hit straight into something else. So if we get into effects here, we can turn this on. Let's introduce a delay. We can literally leave that on default. Something to note there, we are gonna to wanna to automate the mix of that towards the end. With something like that let's record you in Maybe don't want to start as low in the semitones here. You can remove a load of these. We could have it so it rises and drops off as well. And that is as simple as the principle is of building a riser. Um, you can adjust the waveforms. And just keep playing around, mix in different ideas, mix another waveform into the mix, uh, say a different consistent pitch if you like. That's as simple as it is to uh, build an effective riser. For a downer, exactly the opposite type of automation will be what you're after. And if we can build that in straight afterwards, we are going to don't copy. And that gives us all kinds of uh, progression and different options to make. Guys, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. I will catch you on the next one.